y'all. So I did a Facebook video on this one time and I just wanted to give a fresh update um, and post it on YouTube so that everyone could see the proper way to put on a lid of a cup. So whether this is a steel magnolia cup or any other brand, this is the proper way to put on your lid. Now, being a steel magnolia lid, if your lid looks like this, which is our own patented design, um, this is a spill proof lid. So what that means is all places for air to escape have been eliminated. So in order to get this on properly, the first thing we need to do is vent it. Okay, so when we put the lid on the cup, if everything is closed, then there's no place for that air to escape. And if there's no place for the air to escape, it tends to make the lid slowly rise back up because of the pressure. So the first thing you wanna do is open up so that you can vent it and never push it straight down. That's not right. The right way to do it is to put it on there and to give it a slight twist as you're putting it on. So the reason for this is it's preventing the rubber gasket from rolling up, right? So if you put it straight on there, it would roll up like this, okay? And you're preserving that rubber gasket so it doesn't wear out because if it's rolling, it's stretching. And if it's stretching, it's getting bigger and over time it will stop working the way it's meant to be. So the, the reason number one is you're preventing that from stretching out, but you're also um, giving it a better seal. So when you're twisting it, it's getting on there nice and tight, right? It doesn't come off. And because I vented it, there's no um, unequal pressure. Once it's on, then you're welcome to close it back up. It's spill proof, good to go. So that is a quick 101 for the steel magnolia lids and every lid for stainless steel tumblers out there, um, the proper way to put them on. So hopefully this helped you guys out and hope you have a great day.